my friend. Give me the mark. No. Hi, right, y'all. It's AGP here, and it's Wednesday, so you know it's time for another AGP video. <laughs> Anyways, so honestly, we haven't gotten too much info recently on Ghost of Tsushima, but just a couple of days ago, we got a little bit more new information to give us a little bit more of an idea or feel as to what our relationships with the allies that we will be running into during the game will be, like what, what, what it'll entail. So basically, the relationships with your allies will depend on the different ideals that you have with how you should approach a certain situation. So let's say a village is being attacked by the Mongols and you know one of your allies might be like okay but you have to get these certain amount of people out or you can't let these certain amount of people die and you might have to this is just a scenario this isn't one that they gave us this is just how i'm thinking of it and then you go about it in a way where you're like okay i'm just gonna go in as a as a tyrant and not not even worry about all of that like my ideal is that i need to just go in kill everyone and get out uh doesn't don't care if everybody sees me and other allies might be like you should probably take more of a stealthy approach uh, in the article I read, they were saying that Shimura, Shimura is not very keen or doesn't like the spectral approach of Jin. But Makoto, who you guys saw earlier on in one of the earlier trailers and gameplay, I guess the first actual gameplay one that we saw, she's the lady who they ended up fighting with the swords because he saved the guy and she wanted to kill the guy because he... I think had something to do with her family getting killed or turned over to the Mongol, something like that. But y'all all saw this video. It came out a couple of years ago now. Masako. Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Apparently she's obviously an expert archer and she's really good with the sword as well. And she apparently is willing to help spread the legend about you being some ghost uh, of Tsushima that protects the people when crazy stuff is going on. It is possible that you will have to fight her as you saw in the video if you guys don't get along to a certain point and they you, you know you don't agree so i assume that'll be the relationship with pretty much all your allies doesn't have to be exact but that depending on how you approach different situations will either strengthen or weaken the bond that you have with the allies that you run into throughout the game and the story now y'all know there's no waypoints in ghost of tsushima so you're gonna have to remember or you'll know landmarks where certain things are in you know, relation to where you are as Jin in the world, which is cool. They won't be a karma system like there were in past games. If you guys have played Infamous, especially, and I'll just, the latest one, Infamous Second Son, where depending on your actions, you'll be, you'll have red powers or blue powers and people will either like you or they won't like you. If you were doing too much killing and destruction, people didn't like you. And if you were doing more knocking people out and not killing them and saving them people liked you more so more heroic acts created your meter on the heroic side to go up and more non-heroic acts caused your meter to go up on the other side for non-hero acts if you guys have played that you know that that was actually one of the coolest things about infamous the sucker punch has been great with that now they also said that of course by the end of the game Jin, or not even by the end of the game but well into the game Jin will have so many tactics and you know if you if you saw me talk about the different additions you know you get skill points and you get different armor sets and you get different skills that you have to unlock so by the time you get to a certain point in the game Jin will have gotten so good at using his different gadgets meaning fire arrows and sticky bombs and other things the grapple hook so you can go through a camp as stealthy as you want to that he'll be able to devastate an enemy camp you know pretty easily hopefully i mean that's me that's what i would do i like stealth gameplay but other people might just walk up in there and just kill everyone you know that's that could be you you know maybe you don't want to do that whole stealth thing i do like that so i think that's pretty awesome they will show in the titles as once you started the game they'll show how much time has passed and i don't know if they do this by chapters or after you do a certain mission it's like chapter whatever maybe maybe not but it what it will be showing you is how much time has passed since the invasion began and i assume they will give you updates on the amount of people who have been killed and and where it happened and which different islands or which different uh, sections of tsushima that it happened in so that's pretty cool too so you'll get those updates on a regular basis this is a little speculation for me which is a speculation i've had 
since we saw the reveal trailer is that even though there are no waypoints and you're supposed to know landmarks i wonder if and bear with me this is gonna sound a little funny you're supposed to follow the leaves okay i know how that sounds but if you look at the reveal trailer remember the part where right before they start jumping from clip to clip showing Jin headed for like basically kubla Khan's, but that they call them something else Khan. but he's based off kubla Khan, uh mansion or wherever he is wherever he stays they show him, he points a sword in the direction, uh, telling the guy, you know, where to go, telling Kubla Khan to let him know that he's on his way. But then the leaves blow in the opposite direction, and then he kind of follows the leaves. I wonder if that will be something that will give, give you indication as to where the next destination should be. But that's just a little, that's just a little speculation for me. It, that's what it looks like. I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm, I'm down to follow some red leaves. That's all I'm saying make sure your relationship with your allies is strong what's gonna be funny about that is gonna be like there could be a mission where you're like dang you know it might be tighter depending on you might be like i might have to sacrifice a little bit of my relationship with my allies depending on how you may play the game uh so you might have to just try and make up for it for maybe getting into another situation and going more about it the way they would like to see you go about it than your own kind of personal preference but it looks like that we'll be able to go up or down. Hopefully there's a point where it gets up high enough where they're always going to be your ally. So like, that would be nice. It's like having level 10 or 11 in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood when you finally trained people long enough and then it couldn't go down after you made it all the way up. So yeah, so hopefully that will be the case. So Ghost of Tsushima is still set to come out June 26, 2020. I'm, I can't be, I can't like be more excited. I wanted to this game since I heard about it like last year or two years ago. I think people had heard about it before I did, but then I, I saw it and I was like, dang, I'm really excited for that game. So right now it's still slated to release on June 26th. Hopefully that will happen and we don't have to worry about any more delays, but everybody stay safe. This pandemic is still kicking our asses kind of. So everybody just, you know, stay inside and stay safe. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the AGP fam, you know. Get us to 100. Let's get to 100 subs. But I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? Peace. You're not his chick She wanted a nigga, got the right one I wanted a face, she looking like fun You look on me, baby, it's been a night uh, They saying I'm